Hi there, my name's Tony Harmer, and in this movie I want to show you how to use the adjustment tools inside of the Adobe Camera Raw filter. So in the image that I have here, I'm going to turn this into a smart object, because that way I have the maximum editability with the smart object acting as a shell for the image. And I'll go up to the filter menu and come down to Camera Raw filter, and you can see that has a shortcut as well, which makes it even easier to access. So I have my global controls here to make any adjustments that I need to make. But also in the top toolbar, the tools on the right hand side, these three just here, will make local adjustments. So for example, if I wanted to make a radial adjustment just here, like so, you can see that as I do this, I'm getting my adjustment just in that region. Now there are some times when you actually want to remove part of that. And that's when you can switch to brush mode and then you can remove the adjustment where it is not required. It's nice and simple to do like so. I've painted that straight out, but I still have the nice radial adjustment just there. I'm now going to use the adjustment brush to paint in a couple of adjustments here on the eyes. Now what I'll do to start off with is I'm going to reset the local correction settings for the brush using the fly out menu just to the side here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint my adjustment here over the eye. Now I think I'll just use my left bracket slightly to reduce the size of that and now paint in my adjustment in this area. Now, even though I can't see it at the moment, all I need to do is enable this mask option here and it will show me exactly where the adjustment is. Now I've got some right up into the eyebrow here, which I'm actually making worse at the moment just on purpose. And I'm going to switch to erase here at the top and then I can just come along and brush that out where it's no longer required, like so. Okay, I can also restore if I need to and if I make a mistake, but I think that's working pretty well just there. Now I'm going to turn the mask off and then I'll make my adjustment. So I'm just going to increase the exposure slightly there just to lift that eye just a little bit. And of course it would be slightly different for the eye above that. So what I'm going to do is tap new here to add a new adjustment. I'll turn my mask on to start off with and then just brush in the mask. Again, switch and erase where it's not required. I think I'll feather this one out slightly as well and make it just a bit smaller. So just brush like so, nice and easy to do. Okay, like that. And then I can turn off the mask and go ahead and make my adjustments. I'll just lift this one just slightly more than the previous one. There we go. Excellent. If you ever need to reactivate an adjustment, you simply click on it like so, and it becomes active. You can tell which adjustments are active and which are inactive because they are colored up. Now, if I just add a new adjustment here, so I'm just going to add one more new adjustment just on the tip of the nose there like so. If you determine you don't need an adjustment any longer or you made it by mistake, just simply hit backspace or delete to remove it. And so there you go. That's the quick 101 on how to use the adjustment features inside of the Adobe Camera Raw filter. Go ahead and post your efforts using the hashtag isophoto and why not challenge three of your creative friends to do the same. But from me, right now, we're done. See ya.